Peggy 16. So we're headed to Container City. This was originally a dockyard, but it's become a shanty town and it's in pretty poor state. Right. We do this by the book. Weapons cold, in and out before they know we are here. At least one of us has to be near the maintenance spot for it to move. We escort it to the objective, destroying any obstacles in its path, okay? Engineers, stand by to repair the bot if it gets damaged. Once at the objective, the bot does it stop, and we find out what in hell the resistance are planning. So, well, there goes our element of surprise. Shit! Damn. We're sitting ducks! Now every low fighter is going to know we're coming in! Hey! If they are smart, they will lie low. If not, standard AOEs apply. Do not fire unless they fire upon you. But if they do, put them down fast. Amen to that. Receiving fire. Receiving enemy fire. Yeah, it wasn't incoming. Okay, that was incoming. Where is he? Where is he? He's gone. Weapons hot. Combat spacing, clear the route. We'll get the butt. You go ahead, clear the way! Now if I'm playing offline with no internet connection, I can treat this like a traditional shooter, but I have these cool command posts that I can use real time to change my combat role by picking up a different kit. And I'm gonna pick operative class, he's the stealthy guy who sneaks behind enemy lines. And I want a light weapon, so I'm gonna pick a um, cross submachine gun. If I was playing soldier, it'd be my job to try and get that gate destroyed, but I'm playing operative, so I'm going to use this objective wheel to find something cool to do that will help the squad. And for 300 experience points at the bottom, I can see interrogate the enemy. It's going to give me an arrow at the top of the screen so I know where to go, what to do when I get there, and what my reward will be for success. Tactical intel acquired. Your boat has more time. 